Hello everyone, today we are glad to introduce our second generation of digital VSR, DVSR 2.0. So VSR, Voltage Sensitive Relay or ACR, Automatic Charging Relay, are automatically controlled switches that allow two batteries to be combined when charging and to be isolated when not charging and the current is draining from one of the batteries. When used with battery switches, VSR helps to preserve a fully charged battery at all time, avoid the dead battery and the possibility of towing on the sea. We have a popular video showing exactly how VSR works. DVSR is a digital upgrade version of the VSR with enhanced features like 12V to 24V support, dual pole sensing, much lower standby current consumption, and better reliability, which we will explain later. Before addressing those features, first of all, I would like to take some time to explain the biggest change of this DVSR 2.0, the easy to configure wiring. Traditionally, the VSR will come with a ground cable and maybe a manual override cable and then a couple of loops wires like this, or even configuration terminals sealed inside the putting. To access these optional features such as external LED port, or zero power storage mode, we usually need to cut the loop wire or cut the silicon ceiling and connect them to desired voltage. This is very time consuming and sometimes it will break the product itself. In the new DVSR 2.0, however, we have completely redesigned the wiring configuration with these terminal blocks. So all you, all you need to do is simply insert the stripped wires one by one into these terminal blocks if needed, clean and easy. Back to the functions, one of the main upgrades of DVSR is that it is not only compatible with 12V system, but also the 24V system. During booting, it will automatically detect whether it is in 12V or 24V system and decide the combined or cutoff voltage accordingly. The other main upgrade is that both of the ENG port and BAT port can now sense the voltage to combine or cut off the DVSR. Originally in VSR, only the ENG port, the voltage from the ENG port will be detected. So if the voltage on this port is higher than 30.3 volt, the, DV, the VSR combines these two ports and the current can go through from the engine to the house battery. In that case, no matter how high the voltage on the battery side is, the VSR will not combine as long as the, the ENG port is lower than the threshold. For DVSR, with the help of dual port sensing, the DVSR will combine the connection when either of these ports has a voltage higher than the threshold. This would allow power source from the either side of the DVSR to charge the other side. For example, if you, you may have a battery charger with solar panel connected in the house battery side and then you can automatically charge the star battery on the other side with DVSR when the power presents. With digitally controlled IC and MCU, DVSR can incorporate a much lower standby current. When standing by, DVSR 2.0 consumes only 0.3 mA at 12V. So this is only 0.36 mW. In comparison, our traditional VSR has a standby current of around 5 mA. That is almost 15 times higher than the new DVSR 2.0. Another small upgrade for the DVSR is that it now incorporates a delayed open and closed timing. So it will hold for 5 to 20 seconds after sensing this threshold before actually combine or cut off the current. This will avoid the situation where a sudden voltage rise or unstable voltage fluctuation near the threshold, which may cause the VSR unwanted, unwantedly to turn on and off frequently. DVSR also preserves all the nice little features the VSR had. For example, the manual override, remote LED port, and zero power consumption storage mode, etc. It has a 125 amp continuous rating with ISO 8846 ignition protected certificate, which means you can even install this in the engine room, saving the cost 
of very expensive heavy cables. And it is also strictly tested in head in-house to ensure that DVSR meets its marked specifications. The product will be shipped inside boxes or blister package. Inside the package, there will be an instruction manual with detailed explanations and some mounting screws. For distributors or retail customers, you can choose our popular blister package which you can see the product directly from the shop. Or if you prefer a more eco-friendly package, we have a paper color box or cartoon style box with stickers, label stickers. We can also customize the package and instruction manual with your blister card or box pattern design so it will fit your brand image. There will be an MOQ for customization packaging. Please contact our sales for more information. Anyway, that's it for today's introduction. This is YS Marine. Thank you for watching. We will see you next time.